hilarious. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, snap. I don't see this as a hindrance now because that's, cause that's crazy. Mm. Uh-oh. We're so stressed out about what's going on. So stressed about what's going on. Aquarius, no. How interesting. I swear to gosh. You and Capricorn have like the craziest cards. I swear to gosh. Okay, because the Aquarius, Aquarius, Capricorn had what was it? The King of Swords here in the in the uh, the uh, High Priestess. Interesting, right? With the key, with the Page of Cups, and then they had the King of Cups in their outcome. Y'all are so strange. You know that. Y'all so strange how y'all work together. Anyway, your the underlying energy here is the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so this is talking about putting in the hard work, seeing the flowers, and the buds start to you know start to show. But you're not exactly quite happy with where it is exactly yet. So, yeah, there's a little bit more work that needs to be done. Can be a little bit frustrating. You've been waiting quite a bit, but there is still a little bit more push that needs to be put in. Ooh, the lovers underneath here. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so in regards to love, in regards to a spiritual connection or a connection that you have with a specific individual, and I think some of you know who, but those of you that are not seeing a cat before, okay, this could just be anybody that you have a connection with, right? Someone that you feel very strongly uh, about. Um, but most importantly, right, it's a very, it's a, it's a love sort of situation, no doubt. Now, the current state of being is the Ace of Pentacles. So y'all are trying to start something new. <laughs> me, me, you know, the Seven of Pentacles being a slow energy, Ace of Pentacles are going to be slow too, right? Ace of Pentacles, Pentacles period, a very slow energy. It's because it's, it's becoming real. It's the realness of a situation, right? If you're trying to make something a reality. And usually when making something a reality, it can take a little bit, can take a little time. So this beginning is not only just exciting, however, um, it can be a little bit slow, especially when it comes to seeing progress for, you know, wherever you're trying to make, you know, whatever you're trying to build in your life at this moment, whether this is, you know, gaining, gaining a new career, starting something new at work, or you know, building a relationship with an individual, which I feel like this is particularly what it is, right? Um, but whatever you're starting new, whatever that's, whatever's happening new in your life right now, um, it's, I feel like what, I mean, obviously where you guys want or what your goal is, is the two of cups to meet somebody that feels the same way about you. Okay. Someone that pretty much mirrors you. Um, now the thing that's, you know, the thing that is, I think can help you get to the two of cups better is the empress, which is very interesting, right? But the th it's weird because I wanted, usually where the empress is at is the, where is the hindrance card? What, where, where, what is keeping you? And it could, I don't know. I don't think it's manifesting. I don't think it's manifesting. I don't think that you guys are not manifesting love. Um, because it's, I mean, I have to clarify this just to be absolutely sure, but because the, ha the Wheel of Fortune is the reason why the Empress is coming up, I don't see how new manifesting would keep you away from having a relationship. It's almost like this is going, it, I mean, what could potentially be a bit more difficult to obtain, why it would be difficult to obtain is because you are currently manifesting something, um, potentially because of some sort of situation that's happening again. Let me go ahead and clarify this because actually I'll clarify it in a second, actually. All right. So your advice here is the high priestess. All right. So that's talking about using your intuition, following your instincts. Um, this is really talking about, you know, going with the flow. This really trusting your gut right now this week, especially since it's cancer season, trust your gut. Okay. This is, you know, it's, they got the whole psychic energy, car, you know, cards for a reason and it's potentially because there may be something that's happening that you may not, you know, that may be a second time around. Maybe you guys try, maybe the manifestation thing could could potentially be the blockage. Maybe there was something that, you know, happened or so it was a second time around and you may have been manifesting a return of something or a return of someone. I will check it out. Give me a second. Okay. Um, in your feelings though, you have the nine of swords. So you feel very stressed out, sleepless nights, you're not feeling very easy right now. Okay. There's a lot of stress going on. Okay. Why are you stressed out? What's going on? Is it because that, you know, you could sense that somebody's coming in? Cause that's what it looks like to me. It's like the divine timing has been working. So it looks like it's not really that 
it's not really a hindrance it's more like what's boosting this um your best your hopes and fears is the three of cups so re reunion all right, that's reunion. That's getting back together. Let's just go ahead and clarify this Emperor's energy so we can get some better understanding of this reading. Okay, Empress, Empress, Empress. Why is Empress in in the hindrance section? The King of Cups. Oh, okay. All right, all right. So, yeah, it's not hindrance at all. It's not hindrance. It's, um... It's making it a reality. That's what it is. Because the King of Cups is dream bait, right? It's that it's the ideal lovers, the person that you feel would be the perfect person, the perfect partner for you. And I feel like this perfect partner has a lot to do with somebody from the past, somebody that you've already known before. Why is the Wheel of Fortune coming up as the reason why the Empress is coming up in the hindrance section? We need some information. Give us some information. Oh gosh, the King of Swords. <laughs> How interesting. Wow. <laughs> okay, so the King of Swords. Somebody that was either, you know, this had to do with knowing your truth, standing in your truth, um, knowing what you wanted. No, Yeah, pretty much that. What else can you tell us with this King of Swords? This is getting interesting. All these cards, I swear, they get interesting every time. Okay, why is the King of Swords there for the Wheel of Fortune? Is it because you guys have regained some sort of information? Some sort of knowledge that made you guys feel stronger in yourselves? You've mastered some another aspect of the Aquarian arts. And I know Aquarians, Aquarians, like, you go through a lot. Okay, you guys go through some serious depth. Justice. Okay, so somebody could be coming back around or maybe there's some sort of karmic balancing that happened. Maybe somebody apologized to you guys. Or there was just something that was that finally made sense. I feel like there was something that finally made sense. But the but the reason why I think you're gonna get this two of cups. Okay, and I'm not trying to be positive or anything like that. I really feel like you guys are because the Empress wouldn't be coming up with the King of Cups unless the King of Cups is what's blocking you from meeting somebody new. But now I can see that. Like somebody, like you guys are trying to manifest something new, trying to get something going on. But you have somebody here that's very, that you already know because they're coming up as a suit here. Like you already have an idea of who your partner is. And this King of Cups is what's keeping you from manifesting somebody new or a relationship with someone new. You want someone else. You want to sit. You want to. You want a situation with this individual again. That's why the Wheel of Fortune here is in the past with the King of Swords because you already had somebody that matched you perfectly. And that's why Justice is coming up. The fucking excuse me. The um, excuse me. <laughs> sorry. The um, the Twin Flame card. Eleven is a Twin Flame number, guys. Eleven is a Twin Flame number. And this is like I know this is two and everything in the Roman numerals, but I mean it's just kind of coincidental, isn't it? But, yes, you got two, two, three, three. Um, what else do you have? Like, I mean, you have a lot of sequences in this reading. A lot of uh, sequences. Synchronicities. There we go. In this reading, guys. All right? And it's like this... It's hard to manifest somebody new if you already have someone that's attached. That you feel very closely to. Who you have a spiritual connection with. Okay? Now, to really be certain that this is a twin flame connection, I would like to see a little more cards other than justice, like the devil maybe, or, you know, or maybe, um, like the higher France or, um, the emperor come up as well in here. All I've got is the king and queen of cups, which is indicating a very spiritually deep connection. And I don't think this is just like the ideal couple idea for you. Cause if for those of you that don't have anybody in your life right now, this could be that too. But I feel like for certain, this is in regards to like, you already have somebody in mind with this. Like, the reason why you can't manifest somebody new is because you already have somebody in mind that you want to manifest a relationship with. And that's why there's a lot of frustration coming up, especially with the two of with the, with the lovers. It's because there is this love that you have for this individual that is not meant to re be released, I don't think. Because what's underneath here? The sun? Okay. You're the sun, the knight of pentacles. Obviously, this is an earth sign that's coming up here. Eight of Wands. I have yet to see death. And it's not like the universe is like trying to say, okay, it's time to release this now. No, 
This is the second time around with somebody that you feel as your king, who you know is right for you, and justice is coming up. Either this was an apology given back from somebody, but I feel like this is someone that you know. That's why you want to reconnect, or maybe you're afraid of a reconnection because of how this person was in the past. You're not necessarily sure. I don't know. Let's go ahead and dig into this. Why is the high so the high priestess probably is telling you is trust your instincts. Go with the flow, trust your instincts. You are waiting on a message and it's totally acceptable. Because the Queen Queen of Cups and the High Priestess are very similar. Let's first see why you're stressed out. Why is why is Aquarius stressed? Why is Aquarius stressed out? What's going on with Aquarius? Why is Aquarius stressed out? What's going on with the, the ace of swords? Some new information, some I, new ideas, new way of communicating. Ooh, okay. So maybe you guys have received some some communication with somebody recently, or you guys got some sort of ideas and new um, conclusions about your connections potentially. What's up with this? Why is the ace of swords coming up? Why is the ace of swords coming up for this? Why is the ace of swords coming up for this? The seven of swords. Okay. Okay, so information about a secret. Information about information. <laughs> information that was kept under. All right. I would like to see the moon come up as to see if they were lies, but there's some information that was just withheld. Potentially just to get out of a situation. There's something that potentially had something to do with somebody moving up and like ghosting or you know, not being you know open about something. It was some sort of secret, but it's... Okay, this makes sense why you guys would be stressed out. All right, why is the three of cups coming up in their hopes and fears, though? Aw, yeah, this is because you guys want a reunion with this individual. There's a lot of love here for this person. There's a lot of love here between you and this individual. Strong love. Lovers came up, two cups came up, the king and queen of cups came up. They're the most loving couple in the deck, I feel. Okay, king and queen of wands, they, they're warriors together. King and queen of swords okay they fight all the time they're very logical they have their own beliefs they're the div quote unquote divorce couple okay but they have they're they're pretty much like the legal team if you think about it the queen of king king and queen of pentacles they they ground each other and they make a very stable house and home for their families queen king of cups love each other to death okay There's something deep about that and with the outcome being the queen of cups that's talking about being in love it talks about like feeling what feel feeling the love and knowing what's in your cup and knowing who exactly this is meant for. You aren't just giving it to anybody. So you know who this person is. You know what your heart is wanting. And that's why manifesting something new is practically close to not necessarily impossible, but still very difficult to do. And it may be stressing you out because you know that potentially it's you know, you still want this individual in your life. Or this individual themselves are blocking you from somebody new because they're, they're playing on a lot of emotional t strings that you've got for them already still. Oh, Aquarius. All right, let's see what's going on in your room. It has angels for this week. Let's see what's going on. Passion. Ooh. Okay, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Aquarius, oh my goodness. Okay, what is going on? Look, y'all. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. Okay. What can I say? I'm a little excited. We saw temperance come out, all right? Temperance is no joke when it comes out, especially when it comes to love. It's like, oh, oh, oh. You've been waiting? I got you. It's like, oh shoot, what you about to do? Okay. You are limitless. Oh, you had two cards actually. Peep those. So you are limitless and do something for someone else. Very interesting. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose. And then do something for someone else. Says give your attention to someone else. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> well, I, you know, I have no idea like what they're talking about at all right now, you know? who who are they talking about like who are they <laughs> what <laughs> give your attention to someone else right now guys like like who though <laughs> you know um yeah jokes aside though this is pretty darn crazy like you have someone in your heart already and that is already like and i feel like in order to manifest it into the physical if that's what some of you guys are trying to do it's it is about focusing on what you know giving your attention to that person possibly in your dreams 
you know, Nine of Swords. If you're having tr trouble sleeping, perhaps you, there is like, maybe there's a bit of resistance in regards to sleeping. Um, maybe. I don't really get a lot of dream cards in here, so don't quote me on that 100%. I would like to see more dream cards come up. However, you guys are psychically connected. There's some psychic stuff going on here. King and Queen of Cups three times? Oh, like the Queen of Cups twice and then the King of Cups once? Like, and then you got, you know, a lot of swords cards coming up here. The only card, the only pinnacle that we get is is well the only two pinnacle well the only two cards that we get here that are pinnacles is the seven of pinnacles and the ace of pinnacles and then even underneath that the lovers is coming up so I feel like if you have to love for somebody just love on them right and then you know you know just do you at the same time because I feel like right now it's time to be more passive receive okay and it's not a bad thing. You know, being, you know, following your intuition, listening to your, you know, your your instincts. That's really talking, you know, that's really talking about really being passive. That's what the Queen of the High Priestess does. And that's the Queen of what the Queen of Cups does as well. They don't go for it. They just, they know. They, they've done what they need to do. It's time to just reap the benefits now. Empress. She waits till the bun is done in the oven and then she does, then she... She does her thing. 